Cobra Kai fans, welcome back to Cobra Kai Nation. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing who is going to be Miguel's rival in the upcoming Sakai Takai tournament in Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 2. And we know already, based on that ending of Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 1, it's very likely that Quan is going to be a rival to some of the Miyagi-Dos. And in particular, I think Robbie and Hawk. I've already shared my theories on what Quan could do to some of those Miyagi-Do students, in particular Dimitri, but also... I don't honestly think he's going to be much of a rival to Miguel, although I do think he will have a problem with Miguel or Miguel won't like him anyway. But I think because of this rivalry set up with Tori being in Cobra Kai and Robbie being really annoyed with his girlfriend going back to that dojo, I think it makes more sense for Quan and Robbie to have that. But that really leaves Miguel. Who is going to be Miguel's rival? Well, you remember back in March when they were filming in Barcelona, we saw Mary Mouser's Sam LaRusso on the beach with this actor right here and he is known as Patrick Lewis and he's playing the character called Axel Kolesevich. Something happens here that doesn't make Miguel happy. Now that's a theory I'm discussing in today's video so make sure you subscribe now and don't forget to turn on all notifications so you don't miss any more videos on Cobra Kai Nation. When I first saw this footage my gut was telling me something isn't right here. It doesn't look good. Sam is talking to this guy and he looks like a version of Robin, but much taller. It definitely scares me because she's on her own. Like, where is Robbie? Where is Miguel? Where are all the Miyagi-Dos? Why is she on her own here? Is she just trying to find Tori? Is she trying to speak to her and then she ends up finding this actual guy on the beach? Like, what is the whole context of the scene? Well, personally, I think something's going to happen here that's going to annoy Miguel. Either it's that Axel tries to make a move on Sam, which is most likely the case, where Sam is a little bit surprised that this guy made a move on her because obviously her boyfriend is Miguel. And I believe what's going to happen is Miguel's going to find this out. I think if that happens, that's already going to annoy Miguel. Or it could even be that Sam has like a really good interaction with this guy, but they find out that this Axel, he's not the guy that everyone thinks he's going to be. My other theory is that Sam is no longer judging new people she meets. Just like when she met Tori in season two and she immediately thought that she was stealing stuff like her mother's wallet. Now remember Sam's development in season six part one was very important to remember that she's no longer judging new people she comes across. And I think that could be the case on this beach scene. She's learned a lot from her experience with Tori in part one. And I don't think she wants to go down that road again with anyone else. I think she's not judging Axel right here, which is why Axel stops and starts talking to Sam but I think Axel isn't the kind of guy that people will like so who is Axel Kolosevich? Let's go into that. Now, he is the male captain of Iron Dragons because in the part two first look footage that was shown on Netflix, you can see he's wearing a captain headband and he is the male captain of the Iron Dragons. The same dojo that was shown on the boards at the end of part one. And it's also very clear that Rainer Valendinger playing Zara Malik is also the team captain in that dojo. This dojo is clearly Iron Dragons because you can see the back of Rainer's gi here is the iron dragons logo and the iron dragons logo is also on the screen with all the dojos i've heard that this character axel is russian is he ivan drago well i personally think he is the ivan drago to the miyagi dos and also the other participants i think it's possible that he is the reigning champion of the male contest in the sakai takai so this would be a big reveal if they show this in part two and also if he's won already surely he wants to win again in all aspects and not just an individual contest I think he is also a hired gun. He just has this vibe about him. When I first saw that footage of the scene with Axel and Sam in Barcelona, I immediately thought this guy's either hired by Terry Silva or Hector Salazar. Hector could return in season six and be even involved in the Sakai Takai. Perhaps he sees Miguel is competing and then he wants to get even more involved. Surprised he didn't see a champion from California, which is interesting in itself why he would say that specific line. Does that link to some of his past on who he knows has competed in the past? Or he doesn't know that much about karate in the valley, but maybe he he knows about other participants and other martial arts but also with this story i think silver makes more sense my gut is telling me that silver is going to be behind hiring this guy's axel because we don't know what he's up to right now he's not in cobra kai but also silver has a big part to play is he going to be part of one of the dojos is he going to try and hire a bunch of previous winners to be in the dojo and he creates this team but no one knows about it till later on perhaps by the end of part two 
do. I love that idea because that's very Terry Silver. And him going all in on what he couldn't do in the Valley with Cobra Kai makes a lot of sense because he's also one of the reasons why that Chris and Kim were even able to team up because without that spot being secure, they would have never had the chance to team up and go to the Sakai Takai. Now, Miguel and Robbie and Axel, this dynamic is going to be interesting because I think the parallels of Rocky and Apollo apply a lot to Miguel and Robbie this season. I think the relationship with Miguel and Sam has been indicative of a Rocky and Adrian chemistry. You know, every moment you see Sam behind Miguel rooting for him and really pushing him like in season six, episode five, she was saying to Miguel that everything's going to be fine no matter what. That was very indicative of that type of chemistry. And I also think because of Miguel and Robbie being stepbrothers, I feel their dynamic as brothers is very Rocky and Apollo. If that's the inspiration, that Miguel and Robbie will definitely come across Axel in the Sakai Takai. And I definitely think the rivalry will be stronger with Miguel than Robbie, but I do think Miguel and Robbie will not like Axel. And they already have their problems with Quan from just what we're seeing at the end of part one. They do not look happy about Tori being in Cobra Kai, of course. And I think Quan is going to be bigger foe for them. But I feel that Axel will be the even bigger foe. Personally, I think Miguel and Robbie fight him. One of them is going to face him in the final. Whoever gets there, we'll see. But one of them could even come across Axel in the semis. So that's going to be interesting how they go about that. I think judging from that scene in Barcelona with Sam and Axel, I think this is Miguel next rival. I think Quan is going to be a rival to the guys in Miyagi-Do, but I do think Miguel's specific rival will be Axel. We haven't seen anything of that yet, but I think based on that scene in Barcelona, I think that's indicating that. We're going to see some interesting elements to Miguel's story in Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 2, and of course the other Miyagi-Do students. And also I do hope we get to see more interesting developments with Miguel and Sam's relationships. How maybe things could get in the way, but they don't let it. And in general, Miguel's self-confidence and his self-belief in winning the Sakai Takai despite him not being the team captain and being the individual contest. We're going to see that lethal side of Miguel in the team competitions with Hawk and I definitely think it's going to be a very hectic one. Team captains can fight in duos, they can also fight individually but as a team I would love to see Miguel team up with Robbie in a Sakai Takai fight to fight some of these opponents. Now what do you think about this new rival? I definitely think he's going to play a big part in the tournament. We don't know his history. Arguably he was in Iron Dragons before this tournament. Was Axel in another dojo before he was in Iron Dragons? We don't know the backstory to Axel, but I'm sure we'll find out in part two who exactly he is. What's his past with the last Sakai Takai? Did he do anything dirty in that? Is he also the former champ? All these different questions that we have, I'm sure they will be revealed in part two because I have so many. But I definitely think, if anything, if Axel is Ivan Drago, then Miguel and Robbie are Apollo and Rocky. But if this dynamic is Miguel and Robbie being very inspired by Rocky and Apollo's dynamic, then Ivan Drago is just awaiting them. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on. And I'll see you in the next one.